tell me the answer. Even these guys are hype, look at them. They all, oh wow, Jean, Yuto and his girl, oh shit. Santorino brothers, oh shit, yo, uh, Mohawk nigga, uh, what's his name? Gregorievich, Victor. All his fights. Yo, he's, he's visually sad, like, he look like he looks so sad. It's complete, bro. This looks evil. This looks evil, son. I'm not here for it. Jay, you, it's time. Damn. Hello, everyone. It's finally the time you've all been waiting for. The middleweight world title match begins now. Yo, the art for the boxer has gotten so good. Yo, thumbnail. We have you, the undisputed champion and the greatest boxer of all time, and Jay, who's returned to the ring to meet him. How do you think this match will turn out, Bob? Truthfully, if you were comparing records, Jay doesn't stand a chance against you. But there's a reason we're all excited about it. Everyone recognizes that he isn't a boxer who can be judged simply by his record. Why has he returned to meet you? Let's watch the match and learn the reason. You, John, do you really want to see this match? I don't really want to watch one of his one of his fights. Stella, if you really don't want, I could leave him I could leave with you right now. However, I'd like to see with my own eyes the outcome of the perfection of I once I once dreamed of. Really? Will only emptiness remain? Or will salvation be found there as well? I want to know what happens. Then I want to watch it too. Hey, I love them. I'm happy they're a good couple now. That boxer seems more sad than before. And scarier. I can't believe you fought someone like him. Yo, look at him, son. Yeah, the first time I felt fear in the ring was when I was up against him. I realized that no matter how hard I tried, there was something that couldn't be overcome. I feared that everything I had worked toward and that I might, and that I myself might be meaningless. But in my match against him, I also came to realize that that was what was precious to me. But after each match, you just keeps getting progressively darker. Many people admire and praise his strength, but I want to support him. I want to cheer him so he can find the light. Do you think it was a good idea to give up the match? I thought you wanted to protect Jay from this fight in K. You already know that, we, that we're not strong enough to stop him. Well, it would have turned out the same way no matter who had been up against him. Let's see why Jay wanted to meet that monster so badly. After our match, after that fight, I waited for him to come to me. But why? Why would he? And to you. <laughs> what? I waited at my dojo for the smoke again with you. Nigga, what? Every day I waited for him with an awesome Mohawk party ready. Damn it, why didn't he come? Mohawks are so fun. Do you think he's an idiot like you? Yeah, like bro, you could always rely on Victor to make, to make the mood a little bit lighter. Hmm. Anyway, that's a scary face he's making. Yeah, feels like the ring already reeks of blood. Aaron, the match is about to start. To be honest, I hate you and Kay. I don't care to watch their match. However, I'll definitely see with my own two eyes the result of the decision you asked your life, you risked your life for, and what the significance of that choice was. All right, it's the most hyped fight in the history of boxing. The, middle may, the middleweight world title match between you and Jay. It's a battle between the strongest boxer in history and a legend from the past. What kind of fight will unfold and who will be the victor? He's obviously unbelievably strong. The power he showed during the match against Aaron was especially superhuman. Some of that power is probably diminished since he dropped down to the middleweight division. But judging from his physique, it's in that division that his strength as a boxer is at his peak. However, what I felt back then from Jay, though difficult to describe, was also beyond the human realm. What will happen during this match? This is so fucking intense. Box! Huh? Didn't the fight start? What's going on? The fight has begun, but neither boxer has moved an inch. But box Do you know the answer? Is this the first time you spoke at a match? 
Why is the world filled with pain and suffering? Why does life meaninglessly aspire? What is the meaning of existence? What am I? It's starting. Tell me the answer. When this gets animated, oh my god. Yo! This man was a bro. Oh my god. Whoa! It was only halfway through the first round. Silence filled the arena at the brutal sight. You remember what I told you before, right? Before, right, old man? Whatever happens, don't throw in the towel. You have to believe in me until the end. Jay. And you has no damage. God, this is true demon form you. This match was different from any other. Flesh was chipped away. Attacks weren't dealt to knock down the opponent. Solely to inflict pain. It was on a different dimension from the Santorino fight. This was pure malice. Yo. Look at his face. How can this be? Damn it. Just how far? How far do you have to do, do you have to take it to be satisfied? Look at K's face! Look at K's face, bro! Why do you. Why do you have to. Why do you have to walk that path? I feel sad in this world filled with hate and sadness. Sad that people must struggle to survive all their lives. That after an entire lifetime of suffering, one ceases to exist. Shit. I am sad and afraid that that is the meaning of life. Shit! The champion rushes his opponent with a barrage of blows. It's a one-sided beatdown inside the ring. Damn it. It's that sense of danger I'd felt when I've been up against him. What the heck happened? It's measurably more terrible now. What the hell are you doing, old man? Why? Why is he doing anything? Didn't he say he planned on winning? Look at the canvas! It's only the first round and it's covered with Jay's blood! It can't be. Uh, uh, that damned monster. Oh god, this is terrifying. Jeez. This is one of the worst images. Like, this is the. This is one of the scariest forms of imagery they use for you and Jay. God damn! Has he become so strong that no one can stand up against him? All he sees is death, but the light's still there. Jay isn't able to get a single blow in. People are scared. Huh? Jay's no match for him at all. What's going on? I've been looking forward to it. Is it a mismatch? What's he doing right? What's he doing right now? He was just ridiculously strong. You talked big and now look at you. You returned to show us a match like this? Don't just stand there, do something! I hate, I hate fans of sports sometimes. I feel like fans of sports feel like they are like the be all end all for, when it, for this kind of shit. Stop yelling at these guys like you're their coach. You're not their coach. Stop it. You is dead out of control. This is the treatment you deserve. They're booing him right now? Are you kidding me? Long ago. It's an overwhelming victory. Who would think this was in his debut match? Bob Norris has proved he's a fighter with incredible strength. Back when I'd been training Bob for his debut, when a new king had emerged in the middleweight division, there was another guy who had just finished his debut match before my fighters. 
he had suffered a crushing defeat. That was a good match. I'll be rooting for you. Though it was his debut match, he came down looking as if he'd just been in a title fight. The fuck? Good luck with your debut match. You don't want to give meaning to weakness. Make me sick to my stomach. Watch carefully. That's his true nature. I still remember it clear as day. I had a gut feeling about him from the moment I first saw him. Let's see it. Come on, Jay. Show me what you can do. Round two. And it's still going. Round three. Still going. We're now in the middle half of the third round. But Jay hasn't been able to put up a fight at all. Bob, if, even if there is a gap in their abilities, isn't Jay acting strange? You're right. Perhaps he's got a future up his sleeve. What in the world is he thinking? Is he going for an endurance battle? Well, you should know from the Takeda and Fabrizio matches that it's hopeless. Jay. What exactly are you planning to do? Is he gonna give up his own life? That's it. Relax your fist. Make him short and quick. Even the doctor is watching this shit, bro. The fuck? Damn. It's time for dinner, children. Just had that had just been a coincidence. Now that you've made it this far, you'll soon come to the realization that this is no longer the boxing you once knew. No matter how much you want to deny it, nobody can reach you. Even Aaron only grazed him. When you're up against you, it's as if you're all alone inside the ring. In a world where only pain exists. Yes. That's the style of boxing. And the world he's come from. Don't understand. I know you are strong, but he's too stiff. What in the world is Jay after? But the question now is like, what's really happening? Because Jay is not really doing anything. Like, so, oh, somebody did, I forgot who it was, I'm sorry. Somebody did mention that uh, it might be Jay taking on all the pain and using his body to like hold, to, to take all the pain that you is carrying. But I'm not sure. The difference in ability is too great. I should stop the match before Jay's life is in danger. Wait, 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 wait. Where was this in all the other you matches? You know, when you was out here bodying people? Oh, wow, the difference is too great. I should probably stop this. Yo, where was this when you was out here copying Yuto and beating dog shit out of him? Like, come on, bro. Oh, shit, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, wait, he got the glimmer in his eyes. He got the Hajime no Ippo hope. You, do you like boxing? Oh, director. No, it's just that a boxer I know is fighting. Oh my, really? Do you mean that one with the black hair? Yes, I was the manager of the gym he'd been affiliated with before I came here. Oh, I see. Is he strong? Yes, he's the strongest boxer I know. He's defeated every opponent he's ever been up against. Oh my, is he really that strong? Yes, his current opponent is an incredible boxer too. But it's you. There's no one left in the world. Who can defeat him? Goodness, that's quite a serious matter. But his opponent is also quite formidable. Pardon? To be honest, the other boxer is from this orphanage. Jay is from the orphanage? And I still haven't seen anyone stronger than that child. What? What is gonna happen? What is gonna happen? You show up out of nowhere and, and what? You wanna fight you? Are you out of your mind? When I was traveling the world, I met a boy who made a promise to him. I have to beat that kid. Something I need to tell him as soon as possible. Because I don't have much time left. Wait, what do you mean? Are you gonna die? Is he gonna die anyways? Oh, down, oh shit. This right here, this right here is not good. You get a, what was that? What was that, a uh, left body hook? You get a nice left body hook in the, um, right there, you, you could either break a rib and then stab one of your organs by accident, like, or or you could punk, you could fuck up one of your other organs like that. 
makes sense how he went down. Those shots are usually shots that end the game. This is the feeling you get, like you wanna throw up, like you're, you wanna die, like you're in the most amount of pain. Before I'm a boxing fan, I'm a doctor. I wish I could stop Jay's return to the ring. Honestly, it's a miracle he even made it through his training. Wait, on the outside, it may look like he's back to his prime again, but on the inside, he's pretty much dead. He's not even in his prime? Yo! Not like this, please not like this, bro. Don't kill this man. I can't let you return to the ring. I know you trained hard, but you can't box with a body like that. Old man, what's the point of living? Because we might as well since we were bored, to be happy? Really because we don't want to die? For posterity? To achieve goals we've set? Or is meaning just a concept created by humans? Well, the truth of the matter is that everything is meaningless. Is that what you believe too? Damn it. If you want to die so badly in the ring, so be it. You know the state your body is in. Finish all of your matches in the first round until the middleweight interim title match. Did you think I didn't know your true ability? And it's a first round knockout victory! What a spectacular return match! It's another first round knockout, knockout victory! Jay's returned from his retirement! Stronger than ever! And that goes for the Fabrizio brothers too. One round. No, even one round is too long. They might have a dirty trick up their sleeve. So finish the match as soon as it begins. Damn it, that Fabrizio. Save as much of your energy up as possible, okay, before you go up against him. Hey, old man, stop letting yourself get beat up like that and do something. So you can pour every last bit of your life force into the final match. Damn, bro. Down! You can go meet that monster and go die for all I care. How many times has he been knocked down? I have to meet that child. Yo. This ain't FM. So he knows the reason I need to meet him. The reason the stars exist. Jay has risen once more, box. But for how long? Will this hopeless fight continue? It can't be. And that's the end of the fifth round. Jay has made it through another round. Do you remember your debut match? <laughs> that was a really good match. Yeah, right, it was a good one. If I've known your ribs were broken from getting into a car accident the day before, I would have never let you set foot in the ring. This man fought a whole fight in it with his ribs bro with his rib broken? What the hell do you want from boxing? You're being clobbered out there. You're dying. What the hell are you trying to do? Isn't boxing so amazing? Two people think of each other all day long and then come face to face with everything each has, each has lived and prepared for. Yeah, the two lives meet in the ring and share their stories. Don't you think it resembles love? Wow. We're now entering the sixth round. No matter how great their, differences, their difference in battle and ability is, Jay's being consistently defensive. What do you think, Bob? This is just a guess, but I think he might not throw a single punch until the end of the fight. What do you mean? Not to be precise, he may throw one punch. He'll wait until the last few seconds on the clock and concentrate everything he has in all of his life force into one single punch. It'll take a miracle. That may be the only, the only kind of punch that can knock out you. You may be preparing for that moment. Oh shit, he's still, yeah, oh God. And Jean is like, yo, what is this nigga doing? And you took, I know everybody's out here with the PTSD probably remembering, damn, I remember when you hit me like that too. And this dude, Blonde Deku over here is like, yo, this is my friend, what happened? I know he was fucked up, but like, what's good? How boring, this bores me to tears. What, you plan to win? Watch close to what could you possibly do in the face of absolute power? God damn, bro. This is the one and only rule that governs the world. Life, family, society, humanity, and even this universe will one day disappear into nothing. What could you possibly do? His eyes. You see his brow? Carmen, your boxer friend looks sad. He's the loneliest person in the world. I wanted to get him out of that bloodstained ring, but in the end, it was impossible on my own. A mad obsession, unimaginable effort, a strategy to win by any means necessary, and even great luck. 
were not enough to save him. Yo, he's, he's a demon god. I asked the strongest people I knew to help him, but all that did was leave them with permanent scars. Yo, I thought if I brought down you, no, K, I'd be able to save him, but I don't know anything anymore. I'm just sad and heartbroken. Some have fathers, some have mothers, some have siblings, and still others have friends. But he has no one. Hmm, do you really think so? I can see very clearly that you have someone by his side right now. Arden, what? Don't you see him? Oh, the one person who has been by you side all along since the start of the match. Him. Yup. Jay, victory is a cold-hearted thing. Truthfully, I don't get you. The ring is a battlefield where you either win or lose. But you call that love? True, that's how you've always been. You never showed your real ability. So time and time again, I thought about lecturing you for insulting your opponent. But after watching your match, I could never bring myself to do it. So just one more time, just for this match, I'll keep believing you in your boxing. Niggas are crying, yo. So go ahead, do what you want. Try and save that monster. Blood streams down his face and body. For what does he shed blood? Yo. And for what does he fall? And... Yo. Huh. <sighs> for what does he rise again? Yo, is that actually all his blood? He looks pissed! Blood flowed and flesh was splattered, but no one could think of stopping the match. Eventually, the jeers died, died down, and the blazing madness finished burning, fading away and leaving only ashes. Nevertheless, the match continued. It seemed that they were no longer watching boxing, but something else entirely. There was a stillness as if waiting for the dawn, just before a new history is written. Is this really boxing? What exactly are we watching right now? Round 11 felt like it lasted forever, but it's finally over. We are now approaching the last round of the fight. Playtime is over. Go finish him off. <sighs> Damn. It's become noticeably thin. His body is even using up the, prote the proteins in his muscles. Old man. What am I doing here? Again? Tell me. What was I doing? Yo. Have you been this weekend? Yo. This is crazy. Love. You said you were here for love. You said you had to meet you. To tell him something. Go. Go end it. Darkness. And light. Death. And life. Meaningless. And meaning. The final round to decide everything has begun. My beloved child, are you struggling from a life filled with pain and suffering? Does it seem like the entire world denies your existence? Have you collapsed? Exhausted from the un unending har hardships? Let me give you a piece of good news. Pain. Failure. Tears. Despair. Loss. Good and evil. Death and love. The last story. When I was young, I remember a story I saw on TV once. It was a story about the God who created this world. Strangely, he said that he died for us because he so loved us. If, if there truly is a God, and if he truly loves me, I want to ask him some questions. Why was I born in a living hell? Damn. Why didn't you save me? Jeez. Why did these things happen to me? Why did you stand by and let it happen? Yo, this is actually gospel, bro. Why did you only watch all the pain and suffering take place if you love us? Why is the world surrounded by death? And why do all lives wither away? Answer me. Tell me the answer. Why do I live? And why do I die? Yo. Tell me. The world. The world is full of sadness and suffering. 
Perhaps we, with our strength alone, may never overcome the sorrow and pain. People only love themselves and hate one another. The world is full of so many evil deeds. We worship money and pleasure. Gratitude is gone and anger reigns over. I mean, they're saying nothing's but, but facts right now. We struggle with loneliness and anxiety about the future. Some are in terrible accidents. Some suffer from violence. Yo, some suffer from illness. Ever and everyone desperately fights life. But is this a fight with the chance of winning? That's right, all that waits for us is failure. For me, the one who writes and draws a story, and for you who reads it, one day we will all- Wait, whoa, whoa, what? Yes, see it clearly with your own eyes. This is the truth of the world. He broke the fourth wall, son. Oh shit, it's everybody he, everybody, everybody he, he met, I guess. Nah, it's just all of his memories, cause, cause what's her name? Carmen is showing up a lot. Yo. And now everything ends. Surrender. In the beginning, there was nothing you could do. Carmen, do you know what I feel when death seems particularly near? Lonely. I feel a loneliness so terrifying that it makes me tremble. You may think you've built many relationships during your lifetime, but when facing death, you come to realize that you are completely alone. Oh shit. However, if, just if, a god really exists, and if that God loves us, if that God loved us so much that he would sacrifice his life for us, damn. Oh well, it's all good fam. What are you doing? You should have had enough fun by now. Why aren't you finishing him off? That isn't merely a do or die resolution. He's already accepted death. I said the fun is over. End it now! Make sure he can't get in you get you in a clinch! He was dead crying though. Jay, what's going on? Why, why isn't he collapsing? No. The way it's going, my work will be destroyed. Ref! What are you doing? The match is already over. Hurry up and call it off. Yo, he's like, don't let him touch my boy. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? The ref? Yo. He's accepted death. No, he didn't care about anything like that to begin with. Bro. What? What the hell are you looking at? Yo, K is lost. He's all he sees here is a kid. Yo, his hair! Don't. Don't come any closer. Whoa, wait. Yo. You is terrified right now. Yo, everybody's really watching this and they're like, yo, this man is Jesus, bro. He's actually the Jesus of boxing. They're watching the second coming or like, sorry, the death. The sacrifice for, for, for our sins. Yo, yo, if, if Jay, if as Jay is dying, Aaron regains life, that's going to be crazy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Oh! The world! Yo! Bro. At that moment, time lost its meaning and eternity seemed to embrace all. Whoa. 
Yo. Everyone's like, yo, did he just... No one dared say a word. Or dared to even blink. It was the first time in their lives. Bro. That they'd ever felt such an indescribable emotion. Bro. The little light shimmering in his eyes, bro. He's literally seeing the light. He's literally seeing the light. Wow. It's okay. Yo. He's really... So we're seeing, so like, this is like a uh, parallelism because before we were seeing a lot of depression and death in the panels. Now we're seeing like examples of life, like the stars, earth. Oh shit. I've never seen him in the ring with his hair down like this. He always got his hair spiked up and oh, he sees the light. You sees the light. I got to turn my mic down a little bit before I fuck up the volume, but oh shit. Yo, he on a stretcher. Okay. For the first time in his life. The boy felt that he was not alone. Damn. Wait. I know it must be hard for you, th for you these days, but I appreciate you being here. Not at all. Lark was like a father to Aaron. I know Aaron would have wanted to come too. After that fight, my grandfather always felt guilty about what happened to Aaron. Every single day he regretted not throwing in the towel. I know. He always came to visit even though he wasn't in the best of health there either. I told Lark that what happened to Aaron wasn't his fault, but he still visited every single day. Why? Why do these things, do these things happen? So like, I attended Lark's funeral today, Aaron. Lark died peacefully in his sleep, so don't be too sad. Emily has started to laugh a little bit again, and I'm getting used to this little life little by little too. In the beginning, I was furious. I couldn't understand why something like this had to happen to our family, but I'm going to move forward now. I have my responsibilities and loved ones who rely on me. I'm going to spend every moment with the gratitude and love, but that doesn't mean I'm giving up on you. I know that you'll wake up one day. No matter how long it takes, I'll wait for you because I know that one day you will live. Oh shit, the bar guy. Okay, so he's good. This guy's still good. This, oh, okay, is he done? Is he making fan fiction now? And is he done like, you know, trying to be a fake boxer? Jean-Pierre, I don't know who that is. Look at, look at you! Look at you, Blonde Deku! Other J? And Yuto as a little kid! Okay, let's go! He looks... He looks different. I don't know what it is, but he looks different. He Oh, he got rid of the tats! Yeah! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Mohawk! What the fuck? After the match, Lions Boxing Club closed its doors and Kay vanished. Some say he became a deadbeat loser, and some say he took his own life. Still others say that he rejected his past actions and spent his life repenting. Wait, what? After the match, Jay was also never to be seen again. Again, Some say he died of an illness, and some say he was traveling the world again as he had in the past. And... Kids, wash your hands since you've been playing outside. Okay. Are you alright? That hurt, didn't it? It's okay, it's okay. The road was still filled with pain and suffering, and life still ended in death. How many lives unimaginably many li unimaginably many eh, unimaginably many lives have desperately fought have desperately fought and fallen in the ring, and how many tears have been shed? Nevertheless. Wait. Are you okay, kid? Yo. Life is pretty painful, isn't it? It's okay, it's okay. I'll give you a hug to make you feel better. Well, I've got good news for you. All of these stars are, sh are actually shining just for you. Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait! I mean, like, are they a thing? Are they, like, together together? Yo, look at his smile! Look at him being happy and shit, bro! The stars are shining just for you. 
And that is it for the boxer. I gotta say, for one of the first Manoa that I tried, it this really surprised me with how good it is. This is such a good Manoa, not just with like the boxing, but just in terms of the story, the symbolism they show, the different characters and how in depth they are, even just the people that got bodied by you, like Yuto and the Fabrizio brothers or whatever that whatever their names are. Every single person that you fought, they mattered. And I really appreciated that. But I just want to come by and thank you guys for watching the series. Really appreciate it. Did not think something like Manwa reading was going to be the thing that people would really want to see in the channel. But I'm glad that you guys like it. So once again, thank you for watching. And I hope you continue to watch and enjoy more of these Manwa reads in the channel. But wait, there's more. Aw, shit. Aw, shit. Aw, shit. Wait, 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 wait. It's time. It's time. Oh, he looks way more menacing now. He looks way more menacing. Bro. It's time. Let's go.